Welcome back. So, if you don't know where your person is at, what they're doing, what they're thinking, or how they're feeling about you, this is extended is going to be all about their position, where they're at right now, in regards to your situation. I'm using the animal totem deck. So, this is all animal spirits. My forte. I feel like animals reveal so much in the energy. And so, without further ado, this person's situation. The Emperor card. Just like some of the really strong energy with how they were feeling about you, this is reflected in their actual circumstances. God is showing them that the way they feel about you has empowered their own life. And this is a major arcana card, the Emperor. It's sort of in the beginning of s the Hero of Journey stages. It's almost like you two are in the beginning of the movie where this person is realizing that there's a call to action with you. And it's important to get up and come and present themselves to you because you've made them a really strong person. On the bottom of the deck, I see the Five of Wands, which we drew as well for their, their feelings toward you very strong energies the world in reverse this person feels a little directionless because you've been absent in their life this person feels like no matter what is happening with them the the strength that they can draw from you is really opening themselves up to what they could potentially be but without you it's like they're nothing This person's situation, please. Lots of cards. I'm going to take this one and this one. The Knight of Wands in reverse. This is the... Um, oh, this the, the Emperor is the Silverback Gorilla, by the way. This is the Ostrich in reverse. The Knight of Wands is kind of like playing a, your position until you're ready to really tackle the situation as a whole. This person could be doing this a lot with their life. They could be feeling like they need to get their finances in order, like they need to understand what that they what they can say to you before they come forward, and they have to feel like they're um, not going to be shy when they do it. This person doesn't want to come across as like they don't have what you need or they don't have their life together the sun card this is the lemur and it's the final card in the major arcana it represents being enlightened and being at peace with everything so these two cards tell together are telling me this this person is striving to collect their energy and be stable and grounded when it comes to you let me get some of their feelings and thoughts for you. So I know the worst thing is not being able to hear your person's voice and get their body language and their tone of voice. So hopefully these cards can answer what this person is thinking and feeling about you. I'm going to put their feelings over on the left side. And then we're going to get their thoughts. So this is more about their feelings. If you haven't watched the first half of this reading, it's going to be linked at the end of the video. You just have to click the video that's suggested when it pops up in the last 20 seconds. And you'll get pushed over to the first part of the video where you can watch that. If not, the link is in the description. And then come back here and finish this video. So more on their feelings. It seems like a, an energy that's really changing. You can see the salmon card swimming up river, trying to fight the change, but can't, can't, um, can't fight it. Will eventually get drawn by the river into a different cups energy, and this is the eight of cups. It is a very stable energy, but there's no. There's no stopping your emotions and the way that it can fluctuate, especially on a full moon. 
the wheel of fortune in reverse again the ladybug in reverse this person feels very unsure about the future with you because of the way that they've acted and what they've brought to the situation with you this person can be very self-conscious especially right now as i'm reading this about what it is they're going to say to you and how they're going to approach the situation with you let me get some of their thoughts what is this person thinking i saw the magician again and that came out in your mutual energy this person is basking in some of the energy that you've put forward for both of you to um, reflect on and enjoy and they are really feeling the effects of it especially the magician that was in both of your energies on the first part of the reading because it's it's bringing them to an awareness that together you guys can really create a life that's good for yourselves that's what the magician is all about so some of their th thoughts on you the four of cups and the three of wands this octopus represents not being uh, too fixated on material things in life and coming up with creative solutions to be able to um, go forward in our emotions this person could see you as really really spiritual and I'm getting well endowed I don't think that means physically though you could be very beautiful this is talking about your spirit and what you're focused on and it's paired with the woodpecker energy and if you remember in the first part of the reading for them we drew this in reverse so upright this could be how they're see this is how they're seeing you and it's often we see our partners for the qual good qualities they have which we lack which can kind of draw us in together and the three of wands is talking about knowing our our way forward toward our dreams going from what we know to what we're doing with that direction it's like embarking on the path Frodo in the Lord of the Rings in the beginning of the movie when he was given the mission he knew it and he reflected on it and once he decided they set off and that's what this woodpecker energy represents they they're seeing you as really gr um, w grounded and well decided on who you are which is very opposite to the energy that we pulled for them both in their thoughts or in their feelings for you and their situation can I get some final messages the high priestess and the ace of swords I'm going to read this as some advice for you and the best thing you could do is to be yourself and allow this person to be themselves because you can comp they're seeing you as being able to compliment them the best thing you can do is to allow them to be themselves and this will in turn draw them in toward you this is the black widow and although this can be a scary creature for a lot of people this creature has no place in life except to do the best that she can with what God gave her. And although we may all lack some qualities, we make up for it phenomenally in other ways that make us uniquely ourselves. And the High Priestess energy, which this card is, is all about internalizing, internally representing the person that we're meant to be. And it's combined with the Ace of Swords, which is why I brought out the message in such a way to allow the situation to kind of um, develop and be and to infuse your own personalities in with it. Allow differences to be there, but to let them draw you closer together. Give this person time to see good qualities in you and make time to see the best emerge from this person 
because God is really pushing it out of them. So that's your reading. I'm going to get a fortune for you guys who have made it this far in the video. I appreciate and love you for being here. This says, a wacky invention will lead to your success. Funny. I think as you're looking at this person and understanding uh, what it is there between you two, and as this person realizes what uh, you mean to them, some things are going to catch you off guard and throw you for a loop. And it's it's going to be um, really fulfilling and sweet, I feel. I only wish I could be there. So all the best of love for you, and I'll see you next time.